Christine, it was unbelievable. You should have seen it. I heard it. Oh, where's uh, Beverly? Did she... Oh, I finally told her to go to bed. Jeez, I didn't realize it was that late. Well, I hate to see this night end, but we have an early flight to Hong Kong tomorrow. Hey, listen, you have a great trip, huh? And if you're ever in Minneapolis, you give me a call and we'll go to a game and maybe throw back a couple of cheers together. Oh, I'd love that. Well, oh, Christine, thank you for a wonderful day. It's always a joy to see you again. Oh, it's great to see you, Warren. And I'll see you again in the morning. Right, Tom. 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 <laughs> Can I help you with that? No, it's okay. I've got it. Well, I've got to admit, you were right-o and I was a wrong-o. Boy, I had a great time tonight. Glad you thought so. Yeah, no, I mean it. Okay, I mean, that antique stuff was death, but I, I love war. Oh, Hayden, it's almost midnight. Don't you think you better get going? Going? Going where? Oh, well, it's a work night. You've got a long drive back to your cabin. Is that... Is there something wrong? Yeah, yeah. Something very wrong. I don't think I want to talk about it. You said it was okay if we watched the game. This isn't about the game. Really. The more I think about it, the more I know I don't want to talk about it. But geez, Christine, you always want to talk about it. Hey, I mean, this might be so bad, I might even want to talk about it. <laughs> Good night, Hayden. What's going on here? Well, honey, there's never been anything so bad you couldn't always tell me what I want. You really don't know, do you? Christine, you've known me for four years. I never know. <laughs> Let me just ask you one question. When Warren was asking you tonight about your five-year plan, and you were talking about your dreams of going off to a bigger school, going off to the pros, and retiring in Spokane. Was that really what you want? Yeah, uh, well, Christine, see, I feel like I'm walking on a minefield here, and I don't know why. <laughs> I don't even know where you're going. Well, apparently I'm not going to Spokane, or any of the other cities you plan on moving to. Was that what this is about? You, you felt left out of my plans? I just want to know one thing. In this fantasy you have of retiring in Spokane, and camping, fishing, and watching Monday Night Football, Am I dead or something? Or did I even make it that far? No, I'd, of course you'd be there. I mean, just because I didn't mention it doesn't mean you'd be there. You'd be there. You'd be there. How would I be there? I mean, let's say you moved to, I don't know, Los Angeles. Would I be moving to Los Angeles too? Or would I fly out on the weekends? Or would I become your pen pal? How exactly did you see that working out? Well, it would work out just like we've always talked about it working out. You would do what's best for you. I mean, it's your life my life. Gee. Somehow I was under the impression this had become our life. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry, our life, but would someone please tell me why suddenly our life seems to be in so much trouble? I mean, I thought we were doing great. Well, I don't think we're doing great. I think we're doing lousy. Oh, my God, Hayden. If somebody had asked me my five-year plan, I, I don't know what I would have said for sure, but... I know you would have been the biggest part of it. It was painfully obvious that I am not the biggest part of yours. <laughs> not even in yours. That's just because I forgot to mention you. <laughs> well, Warren sure didn't forget to mention Beverly in his five-year plan. Shh, Christine, Christine, you don't want Beverly and Warren. I don't give a damn who hears us. <laughs> Christine, I can't believe it. You're this upset because I forgot to mention your name. I am upset because four years into this relationship, we still have no idea where we're headed. I mean, are we planning to spend the rest of our lives together or not? Spend the rest of our lives together? What are you talking about? Are you... Are you talking about marriage? Well, I guess... It's exactly what I'm talking about. Eventually. I, I, I don't mean I want to get married tonight. I don't even know if I want to get married six months from now, a year from now. But you can't be so thick 
is to think that we can just keep going on like this. Hey, wait a minute. Before you go calling anybody thick. Now, I recall four years ago that we agreed this was a great relationship because we both wanted the same things. We both had careers that mattered to us. Neither of us wanted a commitment. Neither of us had the time. All we wanted was a relationship that fit into those rules. Now, if the rules have changed, nobody told me. <laughs> How can you not see things have changed? I may still be a convenience for you, Hayden. But you are not a convenience for me. I am deeply, hopelessly, probably, foolishly in love with you. And I love you, too. Yeah, right. I, too. Then how come when you look down the road, I'm not there? But you are there! When Warren asked me that tonight, I, I was talking about my job future. I wasn't thinking about other people. You thought about Luther and Dauber? That's because I was talking about football. If he asked me about my love life, I would have thought about you. I sure as hell wouldn't have thought about Luther and Dauber. <laughs> Hayden, we are just spinning our wheels here. I don't want to come off as a woman who is just desperate to get married because that is not what this is about. If all I wanted to do was get married, I could have done that 20 years ago. But I don't want to spend the rest of my life dating you. Yeah, and you know that I have a problem with marriage. I don't want the same thing to happen to you and me that happened to me and Beth. I am not Beth. But I am still Hayden. And that's the part of the equation that doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, Christine, come on. It's not like I haven't thought about this before. I thought about it a lot. Honey, if you and I were to get married, you'd just end up hating me. And I know you think you wouldn't, but you would. You'd end up resenting all the late nights, all the recruiting trips, all the moving around. And that's the part of the package that comes with me. Oh, Christine, I can't stand the thought of you hating me. That's why I don't... That's why I'm against marriage. Not because I don't love you. Because I don't want to lose you. Hayden, if you don't have any more faith in me than that, you've already lost. I thought these last four years were about two people who were terrified of commitment. Finally finding the one person they felt safe with. Now, if you're telling me that that isn't true, then I have really been a fool. Tell me I haven't been a fool. Well, Christine, I can't get married again. Then we haven't got a future. And every second we pretend we do is just a lie. What are you saying? Saying... It's over. I'm sorry, but I really can't talk anymore.